This video is going to show you how to thread the bobbin for the sh and also the shuttle on a uh, Frister and Rossman hand crank sewing machine. Here's the crank to start off with on the side of the crank on the balance wheel you'll see a little tab. This just gets pulled forward this direction so it releases the, um, the balance wheel. You notice our needle is stationary, so you can wind bobbins. Um, this is the boat type of shuttle bobbin. It's spring-loaded, so where the point is, you kind of pull down with your nail, and it pops it out, like so. Now these bobbins have an index on them, because there's an index on the winder assembly right here. So you want to line that hole up with the hole on the winder, pull the tab so it holds it into place. And then it's twisting it towards the balance wheel for winding. So these over-engineered bobbin winders um, can be a little crazy. I don't have a manual so it may not be the exact way to wind these but uh, it's the way I do it that has worked. So you have a, a thread guide on this side. There's a couple guide holes on top here on this arm on the winder and then also two discs that are spring loaded. So first we'll go up into our uh, thread guide. We come up through the bottom because it's an eye, uh, an eye loop. Bring it back in so we're going left to right through it then we come up to our our winder I want to try to zoom in on this a little bit here so you can see those holes a little better um, so with this we're gonna come across the front into the upper hole, pulling through the back, and then there's a lower hole we're going to pull through this slot. So now our thread feeds through and comes back. We're going to go down the right side of the discs and make sure you're in between both discs. And we will tie our thread. our bobbin this is always a uh, some parts we've got to tie it on we'll wound up to the wheel get our uh, our loose thread in here So now you can see it's winding. It's going back and forth. If it doesn't go all the way to the end, you can guide it with your finger. This is actually common with some of the old bobbin winders. So you can guide it to the ends to fill it. And that should be enough for now just to show you break our thread, pull our release. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to thread the boat shuttle on the end is a little slot and you'll see a wire, a rod, which is this rod so basically your thread's going to come around the lower side here and through the top up to the notch and then under your tensioning tab there's a screw here for adjusting the tensioning tab and this is actually a pretty neat way of threading this shuttle. I'll show you in a second. We take our bobbin and our thread going over the bobbin put it into our spring loaded cup inside and click it into place. So what we're basically doing is pulling our thread 
through the slot on the end and then wrapping around like this and back into the slot so you're feeding it over this rod which is nice older boat shuttles were such a pain to thread and then you get this tab under the under your tab and around and there you have it when you load it in the machine it goes in with the flat part towards you pointing to the right and you're ready to go